Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. If anyone knows how to stop their cats from pissing and shitting in everything they own, let me know because this guy is having potty issues. Aren't you, Gunner? Anywho. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is me, Ruby. Hello. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ruby. Nice to meet you. Um, I make YouTube vlogs sometimes. They're kind of boring sometimes and kind of fun sometimes. You never know what you're going to get with me. I took a melatonin last night and it's pretty much, it's noon. It's 1230. Where is the time going? I don't understand. I slept until like nine because I was really tired this weekend. I was just out a lot. I went to the Drake concert and it was the best fucking night of my life. It always is. Honestly, it wasn't my favorite concert. I preferred the other concerts I'd been to. It was still amazing. If you don't know, I'm from Toronto. Drake holds a very near and dear place in my heart. Um, I'm going away in six days, five days, five days. Oh my God. Ugh. Kind of stressed because I have a lot to do. And I feel like I've been out of commission for the last like two weeks because I was just so fucking sick. Like, and it was just bad timing because I have a lot of work to do. This week I really have to grind. Um, and anyway, like I said, I took a melatonin last night for some reason because I couldn't sleep. And it's making me groggy this morning, which is really fucking annoying because I have a lot to do. And it's, I'm like cold. I don't know what's going on. The weather's not great. It's like, it looks like it's raining. I do want to go for a long ass walk today though because I haven't really like moved my body in a long time. And then I have a nail appointment. I also have a gyno appointment, which I've never... Okay, sorry for the commotion. Gunner is um, taking a walk. Never been to the gyno before. I'm just like, never done that. But I thought, okay, I'm like getting old. Like, it's time to go. But I'm kind of scared. But I made the appointment, so I'm going to go. Um, it's also super fucking expensive because I don't have healthcare here. Anywho, I'm going to get up, film this ad, and then go for my walk I think and then I have a really exciting package I need to open with you guys because I'm so excited to open it it's from thread up and if you know thread up I love thread up it's my favorite 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 it's just really good it's like an online thrift store basically and if you know me and know my roots my roots are thrifting and because there's sh such shitty thrifting in New York I have to go to thread up and honestly, I'm addicted. I'm working with them on this video. They gave me credit to pick out some clothes to show you guys. And I used that credit and more. Like I spent like so much of my own money because there was just so much I wanted. And then after I placed my orders for this video, I went back and placed like three more orders throughout the week. Cause I just like kept checking. Thread up Paul coming this video. Very excited, very excited. Hi guys. Okay, so I went for a little walk. I got a coffee, I went to Blue Bottle, got my classic cold brew, and now I'm ready to give you guys my thread up haul that I know you all have been waiting for. Issa's going to get here any second also, so she'll probably interrupt my haul for a second. So I wanna start off by giving a huge thank you to thread up obviously for sponsoring today's video. Um, if you guys are new here, this may be the first time you've seen me work with ThreadUp, but I've worked with them before and I absolutely love them. They're essentially like an online thrift shop where they carry like so many different brands, um, just like any thrift store would, and really, really reasonably priced items. And you can get new items, vintage items. They really have everything. Um, it's the closest thing to thrifting for me, living not near like regular thrift stores. So I love it personally. You guys are going to see everything that I got and I think you'll understand why I love it. Also, if the haul isn't enough, I do have a discount code that'll give you 35% off your first order. And it's just my name, Ruby, in all caps. I'll put it on the screen and all the information will also be linked down below. All right, so let's just get started because I have a lot of favorites. Um, I have like, like three boxes this big of stuff that I bought. And honestly, after showing you guys, I'm going to want to like go back and do more. Okay, so the first thing I got is this DKNY Vintage Blazer gonna like try it on now <laughs> um i'm obsessed borrowed a blazer really similar to this from acne in paris and i was obsessed with it and this one just like really reminded me of it i know it's kind of like grandpa-y but can you guys see the vision like which the casual with like a hoodie or a little baby tee like this one and jeans i just think it's so cute i'm obsessed with it so that's the first thing i'm not gonna like ramble on about everything just because i already talk a lot next i've been really into like little ruffle details lately and this top is just freaking stunning. Um, I might wear it to like Coachella. 
with like a little bra and mini shorts. I think that could be a vibe, but it's just a little blouse and it cinches at the bottom. I just think it's really cute. I'm gonna try and try everything on for you guys, but I'm obsessed. Oh my God, these little, these super cute little flip-flop heels. Like, oh, they're so effortless, minimal, gorgeous, necessity. I'm obsessed and I love the beige color. I don't really have many shoes in this color and I feel like I'm always looking for them. This dress, oh my God, I tried to show my friend the other day. I don't really think she got the vision, but I am obsessed. It's from BCBG and it's basically this brown like cotton jersey material and it has a big elastic. I think I'm gonna wear it uh, off the shoulder. It has a big elastic in the like midsection as well. So the top kind of drapes over and then it goes into like this like uh, maxi midi dress. I just think this is so cute and boho chic and I'm just obsessed with this style for like spring summer. This is from BB. Baby, I don't know, BB. Um, again, I'm just obsessed with this like drapey vibe lately. I don't know. It's like a super deep V and it has like this pattern through it. And then I love when a sleeve is like poofy, not poofy, but you know what I mean? And then cinches in. Um, and then it has these like gold ring hardwares. You either get it or you don't get it. That's all. That's all I really have to say. This one's kind of random, but it's like this super flattering, like tight like spandexy material it's like this puma tank top and it's just like a halter almost i don't know this is like a leisure oh my god these shoes these shoes are insane beige snake print heels are you kidding me i've never been more obsessed no words no words just can't wait to wear then i got i'm really into like pencil skirts like office core vibe right now um and I got this, this is also from Guess, super sleek little olive pencil skirt. It's like a silky material too. It looks so good on. Just, I'm just obsessed. I love the color, it's basic. It'll go with a lot of things, but it's also like interesting and soft. Another Guess item, I got this cropped little vintage bomber jacket. It's this olive green color. And I just think it's so cute. Right? With the little collar. Perfect for spring. I don't know. I've been loving a bomber jacket recently. I have this red one here that I wear nonstop. Next, I have these pinstripe low-waisted dress pants because I am just into the straight leg dress pant vibe. And they're low-waisted. They fit well. They're like not too tight, not too baggy. Just ideal. Ideal little pinstripe moment and they go with everything what's not to love okay then i got two tops i literally got the same top in beige and in black the black one fits better because it, it is smaller i believe i don't know why they're the same size but for some reason this one fits tighter but again it's kind of like blazery top vibe i'm obsessed i wore this to the drake concert like i was talking about earlier i thought it was so cute i just wore it with baggy jeans and then I have the same one in beige. You can kind of see the silhouette better. Not that it's not in black, but like where am I finding that? I'm not finding that anywhere but thread up is what I'm trying to say. This is another like ruffly top. It's hard to see because it's black, but the whole like front is ruffly. It's giving kind of like pirate vibes, I think, but I'm really into that. I don't know why. I need to style it and then maybe I can convince you guys. <laughs> this dress is everything. It's like... I don't even know how to describe it. I just kind of have to show you. And it's, I kind of have to put this on for you to see. But it has this whole mesh overlay on top of this like simple black jersey dress. It's just, it's just the moment. It is the moment. This would be good at Coachella too, I think. Oh my god, this would also be good at Coachella. It's like giving Vanessa Hudgens Coachella queen. It's like this super drapey top like I was showing you. I need to try this on. Like I think it would be more like a dress on me. It's like... This cobalt blue color, cinches at the bottom, and then as you can see here, like it kind of, this is the back. Basically, this is like the cutout in the back. I don't know, let me try it on and show you guys, but I'm very excited about this. I have high hopes for her. I also got two more pencil skirts, and these ones have like a built-in belt, which is so sick. This like tweed pencil skirt, like salt and pepper type vibe. I just think it'll still go with so much, and again, just kind of fits into the whole vibe I'm going for right now. Oh. Here's the other one. It's literally the same thing. It's just a different material. 
That one's tweed. This one's kind of like a really tiny polka dot, but you can't really tell. This really cute BB top, kind of similar to that other one I showed you guys, but it's so soft. It's like this super soft knit material, and then it's like high neck, and then again, cinches at the bottom. See, like you're getting the shapes that I like right now. And then there's actually a cutout on the shoulder, which you'll see in the try-on. And then the back is completely open. And then there's a little tie. Oh, it's just so cute. It's like simple, but elevated. So cute. This is like a, like a shawl. Like, I don't know how else to describe this. Just something cute to layer over. Um, an outfit, I guess. I don't know. It might not make sense to some people, but I thought it was cute to experiment and layer with for the springtime. So we'll see. Another item like that, this one's from Guess. This is just like a more like sweater material. It's like this dark gray color. It's just super cute, little like peplum drapey top. This one has like a cowl neck, cinch at the bottom, halter. I need to try this one on. I actually haven't tried this one on, so I don't know how it fits, but it was like a size or two up, so I'm hoping we can I can make it work. But I could always wear like a bikini top or something underneath if it's not enough. So another one of those little jackets. I'm just clearly obsessed with everything. I love how the um, the sleeves have little buckles and a little peplum at the bottom. Oh my god, the cats are literally going insane. Okay, last few things. This tank top, so cute. High neck, super tight, has a little ruching at the front, and then the back has this like braided details. I'm just been really into like interesting backs and stuff lately and materials. Um, so cute. And I just got a classic pair of Nike track pants because I didn't, I don't have any Nike. All my are like Adidas track pants or like something else. So I just wanted a pair of Nike ones and I just wear, I wear track pants with like kitten heels or like. Uh, ballet flats like all the time so and then the last thing I will show you is this super cute little mini dress it's like black it's hard to show it has to be put on but it has this like gold detail which I might try and take off but it basically has this like flap this layer I don't know if you can see I saw the vision online but you guys can let me know what you think yeah that was my thread up haul hope you guys loved it I'm so excited by everything so excited I'm sure you'll see me wear some of this stuff throughout the video. I have some more things to do this week and I can assure you I'll be wearing something from there. So stay tuned. Don't forget to use my code if you want to check out ThreadUp. I'm actually going to go shop on there right now, I think. But Issa's going to be here any second and I need to do some more work. Speak of the devil. You look like you're in a flower garden. I am. <laughs> Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. I'm Ruthie's mother. Hi, vlog. Mother. Sometimes I like to hike up mountains just to see how crazy small we are. So in this world. So how the fuck are you still bitching about your problems? Can you fall apart? Baby girl. The liquid out your Hi guys. Got back from getting my nails done. I literally just got them clear. I don't know if I love it, but I could just easily paint over it if I change my mind, I guess. I don't know what's going on with me. I go through spurts of like, like when I had gotten back from Europe, I was on like a high of like, I had energy, like I was motivated, I was productive, and then like, and then I got sick. Okay, do you hear this motherfucking cat? Like, be for real. You don't have to do, you don't, you don't have to meow like that. That's not normal. It's like a dog cat. Jesus Christ. He's insane. I already fed him. I feed him so much. Like, I'm not feeding you again. Sorry. It's literally not even new. See? See, look, Gunner, you've woken up Milo. My sweet boy. Hi. He's just an angel. Hi, baby. Guys, I sound like I hate Gunner. I don't hate Gunner. I love him. We're just going through something right now because he's really fucking annoying. And he shits everywhere. 
literally every single day he shits in a new spot. But like I fear Gunner must be deaf because his pitch is insane. The ad is for this Burberry Her Perfume. It's for Mother's Day. I'm gonna film it here. Basically, I have this whole like brief that I have to follow. La di da di da. I have to paint on it. But the problem is, the as you can tell, the lighting is shat. It's not great. But it's raining every single day in New York, so I have no choice, and it's due at the end of the day. So, rock on. Anyway, the coffee's clearly hitting. I'm gonna film this. Be back. All right. This was my. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't get over how horrible this is. This was my final product. Um, the brief was basically like you had to paint on your Burberry bottle for Mother's Day. And this is my design. It's funny because my mom actually is an amazing artist. Like she paints every single day and like is really good. And my dad's a really good artist as well. I did not get that gene because what the fuck is this? Definitely not the best in that video, but you know, we work with we work with what we got um, Now I need to film a reel getting over on that side of my apartment is better because I can film that in front of The window and then once I finish that I'm gonna feel a lot better Because technically those are the two pieces of content. I had to get done today Hey guys, it is now almost seven. Wow. I ordered a bunch of sushi, 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 Japanese food. Um, even though I'm not supposed to be ordering food, I'm supposed to be cooking, but I have no food. And it's pouring rain. But I'm snacking on my Stacy's pita chips while I wait, which doesn't make any sense because I'm not going to be hungry when it gets here. But I'm so hungry right now. What did I do? I edited all my reels. You'd be surprised how long it fucking takes to edit a reel. Um, and then I was on the phone with my bank. I'm having, like, issues, guys, because, like, being Canadian and being in the U.S. and, like, it's fucking complicated with, like, taxes. Also, I was looking back on some of the clips from this vlog, and I look insane. I'm, like, not looking great lately. I know it's just ebbs and flows, and, like, that's just life, but, yeah. I, would, I don't know what to say about it. Anywho, I thought while I wait for my food, I don't know how much longer it's going to be, I could continue packing for LA. I feel like if I knock at it every day, it'll be easier. And then once my food comes, I'm going to, I'm going to sit down, start my motherfucking taxes. That's the plan. But I recently, Olivia showed me these guys from Toronto. They're like TikToker YouTubers. I'll show you. These guys, this is Martin. This is so weird that I'm saying this. And this is Ham Hamza, Hamza, Hamza. And, then, and I think this is um, his girlfriend. And basically, like, I'm obsessed with them. I can't believe I didn't know they existed before. They're fucking hilarious. Like, so funny. And they're from Toronto. I love people from Toronto. I love Canadians in general, but like the fact they're from Toronto, I just immediately, I'm obsessed with them. Ow, my back guy. Hi, Gunner. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. This is the state of my closet. Insanity, I know. And it's just not very, like, inspiring. The lighting is not really good in here. I don't really want to try on my outfits out in here. So I think what I'm going to do is, like, pull everything that I want to try on, think could potentially be a good outfit, whatever, bring it to the living room, and try it on in there. Because, like, what the fuck is this lighting? You know what I mean? All right, so this is, like, tops, dresses, pants... This thing is, I'm really tired and I don't want to try all this on, so I might just do it tomorrow. I might, I might be tapping out for the night. The taxes was definitely ambitious. It's definitely not happening. My sushi, although, is here. So let's dig in. I'm so sore from my aloe workout the other day. It's insane. Hi, Gunner. I forgot what I even ordered. I'm never usually the type of person to like rip a bag open like that. I ordered two pieces of sashimi. 
I ordered a futo maki. It's just like a bunch of vegetables and egg. And then I ordered, I kind of got a lot, an eel, an avocado roll, and sweet potato roll. And this is yours. What's this? Oh, and it came with miso soup. No chopsticks though. It's okay, I have some. I'm so grateful for my dad for forcing me to get into like raw fish and sushi when I was like young. Because let's just say the people who don't eat raw fish are missing out. Oh, I need napkins, I'm gonna spill. Yum, yum, yum. One thing about me is I'm a klutz. I rush through literally everything, so I spill. Hi, monkey. Hi, second monkey. Are you sunbathing? Are you gonna miss me? Oh, that's very nice. Hi, beautiful. Hi, Gunner. Do you guys hear him purring? He purrs so loud. Hi guys, it's been a minute. I, um, yeah. I've been trying to try everything on and like, just like be as productive, be as productive as possible, but somehow it is um, 10 p.m. And I still haven't finished packing. I haven't even like, these are all yeses, which is the problem because I'm only trying to take this and the carry-on, but the carry-on shouldn't have any clothes in it. If anything, it's just shoes. Yeah, so this is a problem. This is a big problem. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to see how much I can fit. We'll see. I don't know who the fuck I think I am bringing all this. I need to be realistic with myself. All right, let's 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 wrap this up. Gunner, what do you think? Camera is about to die. I'm going to try and pack the rest of this tonight see how much i can fit it's not looking good but we're gonna make it work um i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow tomorrow is going to be the start of the la vlogs i have to take gunner to the vet tomorrow i'm going to the drake concert tomorrow and then the next day bright and early i probably won't sleep because i'll probably go out all night um i will be getting on my flight so don't forget to check out ThreadUp and use my code here. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.